Hello my friends, quick hello and update about what I have on my knitting needles. Um, my little one has just fell asleep, the rest went shopping for a quick bit, so I have a few minutes. I know, I've checked the video, that was maybe a month ago that I said something <laughs> over here. However, my goal in Jul July was to do a bit of Christmas is in July knitting and I finished, I managed to finish my full of mini set, which I'm going to show you. And by saying I managed to finish it, I did manage to finish it following the patterns. My pattern, I'm going to put links to my Raverly shop, so if you're interested, check that out. Uh, it is um, like a second modification of full of mini's hat that's a different pattern uh, this one was more leading towards children let's say that way because it's easier to grab however i'm making an addition to it therefore i classified it as finished but it's not really finished uh i'm making ear flaps oh can you see it so here it is i'm knitting the second one i'm going to put it on my little one i have knitted it during our car trips therefore i have some footage when she really wanted to put it on even though it's like i like say july um uh, so over here <laughs> As you may be aware, or you may not be, uh, I'm finishing my maternity leave and I'm going back to work on Tuesday. And it's a 50-50 thing for me. I know people are asking, uh, my heart would stay with children, but on the other hand, you know, I need to go to work. Um, there was no option. Uh, therefore, I'll try to find a positive thing, things, and I do have a break at work, you know? And at home, if you're a parent, you know you don't. Therefore, I will have some time more for knitting. Maybe I'll be able to record stuff. I'm still breastfeeding. And I think lately the government let people to get an extra break. So I'll have two hours break for breastfeeding, eating, maybe doing some exercises for myself and knitting. So that's, that's, oh, I'm so, so happy for that. We shall see how it goes anyway. And I was able to take my uh, annual leave till the end of the year from perspective of taking one day per week uh, and it kind of ended up pretty well therefore I work four days in a week which is also brilliant and uh, yeah so therefore I always tell everyone celebrate your little achievements and um, on the 28th of July I've been working in one company for 18 years on the same uh, position. <laughs> Nothing changed. Um, therefore, I wanted to celebrate and my celebration was purchasing this pattern, Nebula by Andrea Murray. I always wanted to get some patterns. I do have her patterns. I bought a pattern to knit something for my friend. So check it out on the screen. Um, and maybe I put a link down below if you're interested. And I might I may knit it again, maybe for myself too. I was thinking one day, let me know. However, I wanted to take advantage of her birthday sale and um, uh, I followed a newsletter uh, and there was a discount code and I was like, oh my, I need to find something. And I also look through it. However, she has a different completely body structure let's say that way than me i'm very tall and she's a tiny little thing and um yeah and i couldn't find something that would match therefore i found this it was kind of it's not completely simple but it's quite doable i would say i hope it's going to work with my posture <laughs> Um, and I think it may work for most people from that perspective, so we shall see. Uh, what else I want to say, the only thing that's over here that I'm not really the fan of is the 
bottom up structure uh, and it's crew neck i think that's what you call it you know the boat kind of way neck uh, i knitted something similar for my for myself which i gifted to my sister <laughs> And then I knitted for my friend. So I'm kind of like, will I like it? And the pattern I'm talking about, I forgot the name of it. It's over here. So check it out. On the screen, you could see some top nails. I'll try to link the link down below if you're interested to knit that pattern. It has a bit of color work. And I think it was the same way of knitting that I was bottom off. We were finishing in the same way. It's kind of have the same vibe um so so far there's option for two oh yeah 17 stitches is for the the sweater however you see it as a sweater but it can be also a vest and it's in the pattern also that the schematics has like a vest and this is like a sleeve so i'm going with the vest um version that i think i'm going to use it more often uh, because it's pretty warm in our house. It's a tiny little cottage, you know, it's so easy to heat up. Um, therefore, I found this yarn in my stash and this is the fingering. So the option su suggested yarn uh, over there that she's using is one that it blooms and it's gorgeous and um, this one. As you can see, the structure of it at the end is slightly different that like most yarns that I knit and then you have a green version of it and she makes two fingerings I think maybe fingering and lace together to achieve the same thing so I'm trying to do the same and I received this yarn many moons ago I read that many moons ago and as you can see it's quite nice skein um, I got it from a viewer so thank you so much and it is I got it from Don Marie I don't, I'm not sure can I say it <laughs> um, so this is yarn baby super wash merino and we have over here 1120 yards uh, in eight Oz. so mm, um, so you know that I'm got it getting it from America um, Hudson Brickyard uh, fingering weight so I wanted to check um, what um, meter it or yardage it is because it only says ounces <laughs> and i i don't really understand that so this is it over here the information the yarn itself is this and here it is Just for the thumbnail, hopefully. Therefore, I need to find something else. And I know I have somewhere in the house a three skeins of alpaca something mixture and mix them together. So I need to just find that. Like I said, 17 stitches. Join me if you want. It's not really a car, for I'll say it's just knitting with a friend. Um, so I think that's that. And also when I was looking for this to find out and dig it out from whatever I put it. I found uh, these leftovers, so I presume in some in near future or somewhere in the future, you may find me knitting socks because obviously I like to have socks on the go and especially at work. So that will be it. Um, and I like to gift socks, you know that, right? So I think that's that. Sorry for the mess and whatever. Probably shouldn't apologize, but um, I feel like so. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't feel presentable to even go to work. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I think the little one is moving. You may see some movement over there. And uh, yeah, check my vlogs for July. I know it's extra content for members. So thank you so much for my eight members for sticking with me and watching uh, just everything that I throw over there. Um, but we had a few nice trips. Um, our family is not really like we we can't really go holidays because of the work that Seb does. He's a painter, um, and now you know also the the age of the babies. Um, 
So we like to go for weekends or here and there or treat ourselves to a breakfast or go to um, like you've seen some park or some um, ferry or a train or <laughs> um, kind of make the day a little bit more special. Uh, the gardening bloomed. I have to um, I don't know at some stage maybe take a phone and record a garden but it's so hard like I said I can't use the phone when the little one is around if you know two-year-olds love electronics um, so uh, that's an update from perspective of that I'm a uh, thrill with the garden but if I showed you probably it's not a complete perfection but it's perfection for me if you have two kids it's like even more than perfection uh, I still have three beds to put I was able to dig a bit to put the third one and level it um, and I still have two to go but I have to remove some compost area that we kind of stuck up there for a while so that's lots of digging and my body like I said slowly gradually I'm uh, getting in there let's say that way um, although I'm dreaming to get a shed for the tools I like a proper gardener uh, but uh, yeah I'm looking for some second hand to be honest on Facebook and I need to ask people maybe around do they know any other website that um, yeah or maybe something something affordable to get uh, on my budget for the garden um, yeah because I need to get my tools not be wet all the time just put them properly somewhere yeah we have do we do have a big shed uh, and we got it last year but it's for like painting purposes you know like sub paints kitchen in there um and we still have some equi clean equipment let's say that way over and i need a you know dirty shed <laughs> that can be dirty <laughs> um okay i hope it's not too long i hope you enjoyed let me know what you're up to i haven't seen you for a while let me know what you're knitting what your plants what were you up to during um holidays because august well it's still classified as, as a still still we still classified as a as a period of like out of school for children right so um you still a month to enjoy probably good weather Although in Ireland, September is not that bad either. So we shall see. Okay, I need to go. I don't want to. Okay, I'll leave you here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. If you're joining me to knit any of the Andrea patterns, uh, let me know down below. Um, if you're knitting the one that I do or you've knitted the one that I do. I'm going to leave me all the info. I haven't had a chance to go through every project. I will probably go through it, hopefully, because that's the good thing to do. And if you don't do that, you probably will regret that. I know I tell myself, um, but sometimes I just start and that's it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So I still need to find uh, three skeins and I need to still find knitting needles that I had to move upstairs, which is farther away from me because of the little ones, just to be safe. Um, because we have a climber. <laughs> Can get everything. So, um, yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm going now. Bye. Bye.